welcome back. Epi review problem on stacks. We've got our loaded beam here. Find the location of the maximum bending moment in the beam. There are your answer choices. All right. Work it out. Press pause. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right. Did you get back? Let's go. All right. Number one. Okay. I got to know, I got to know my global reactions here. B, Y, A, Y. I know I have a distributed load here that's three by five. That's 15 kilonewtons. Okay. So quickly I can sum the moments at A. And what do I get? 15 rotating me minus, minus 15 times 2.5, right? And then plus by times 5 and then minus 7 times 5 plus 1, 6. Okay, let's see what that is. Where's my calculator? See you later. 42 plus 15 times 2.5 equals 79.5 divided by 5 equals 15.9. So BY equals 15.9. What's AY equal to? Remember, up stuff equals the down stuff. So going down, I got 22. So 22 minus answer equals 6.1 for AY. Okay. And then I think, whoop, we ought to just plot this. Okay, here's the end of the distributed load. Here's the end of the beam. What's going on? On the V diagram, I'm going to jump up 6.1. I'm going to go down 15. Whoop. Okay. And then what? I'm going to jump up 15.9. Now, where am I down here? I don't know. 6.1 minus 15 equals negative 8.9. Okay. And then jump up 15.9. That's going to take me to about... Well, I don't know, about seven, won't it? And then from there, no change, no change, no change, bam, whoop, back to zero. Okay? So I got plus, plus there, minus there, and plus there. So I know my next graph, right? Well, number one, I know it has to have a peak right here because it's going to go uphill, then downhill. So I'm going to have a, a an inflection point there. So it's going to go fast and slow. And then from here, it's going to go down, slow then fast, to some point way down there, right? And then it's going to go uphill back to zero, okay? Now, how much uphill is it going to go? What's the area of this? Seven. So I know it has to go up seven, so I know that that's seven. I just need to know what's the value of that, right? Well, hmm, I think I can do that. Because I need to know, is that the biggest or is that the biggest, right? So what's the area of that shape right there? Well, I have to do this real quick. I have to do 6.1 is to X as 15 is to 5, right? So what is that? 6.1 times 5 equals divided by 15 equals 2.03. Okay. So this is 2.03 right here. So how big is that area? 6 times 2.03 equals, divided by 2 equals 6.09. <laughs> Almost 6.1 again, right? Okay. So this value right here is going to go uphill 6.09. Okay. So the maximum bending moment is that one. It's not this one right? Which happened at 2.03 feet, right? And there was an answer right there that says two meters to the right. And you might say, hey, that was it. But it's not because this one over here, he's bigger. He is a bigger. And where does that one happen? Where does that happen? Right here, right here at the, where that distributed load ends at point B. And that, my friends, is the correct answer. Did you get it right or did you fall for what we call 
a false friend. <laughs> if you work it wrong, the answer's there. Dadgummit. All right. Hope this helps. Let's do another one.